Biodiversity is a characteristic of nature and a key factor in successful conservation agriculture. The advantages of adding diversity through cover crops are becoming ever more prevalent. Dekgewasse gee ons die kans om die natuur half te simuleer in ons gewasproduksie systeme. So alhoewel boere vog as die mees beperkende faktor sien, kyk ons na dekgewasse juis om water afloop, erosie te beheer en verdamping vanaf die grond op die vlakte te keer. The more you grow a cover crop, the more you increase your carbon, the more you retain water, the more you get infiltration of water and the better your crops are. My bewaringslandbouw has definitely my ground life in the ground. And where I've come now ook with the dekgewasstelsel in, it helps also a lot with the water in. And I see that my ground is a lot more healthy at the end of the day, on the long term. Cover crops are mostly mixtures of grasses, legumes, brassicas and non-legume broadleaf plants. Op die oomlik uh, is die hoof dekgewas wat ons gebruik is somer mengsel. Dis 'n mengsel van 7 verskillende gewasse: akkerbone, dan twee soorte soetsorgums met 'n babala en uh, ons sit sanhennip, sonneblom, safflower en dan sit ons ook bietjie mielies in. Die mengsel wat ons nou hier het is 'n uh, voorsorgum. Hier is 'n sanhennip tefiso en die radyse wat baie mooi gegroei het. Klein bietjie 7 8 kg hawer ook ingesit. Maar die diversiteit voor mij is baie belangrijk. Baie verschillende wortel, types wat in die grond is, zal je micro-organismes redelijk stimuleren in die grond. In addition to stimulating essential microbial activity, farmers are finding cover crops highly beneficial in livestock farming. Ons het self in Kroonstad gesien dat ons 170 kg netto vlees kan produseren. En ons kon nog steeds de draag kry om genoeg materiaal op die grond te los. Ons skyf ons beeste tans 10 keer a dag. So elke uur word ons beeste geskyf. En uh, dan monitor ons dit nou maar uh, hoe die, na die hoeveelheid uh, biomassa wat boor die grond is. Ons probeer een derde van het wegvreet op ons, op ons dekgewasse en twee derde is plat trap. When you talk cover crops, everybody says, oh, but it's so expensive. Oh, the cost. You fly a cover crop on and they say, oh, but it's so expensive. And I work out the cost per ton of feed. If I get one ton of feed, it's more than paid off. I can get half a ton of feed and it's almost paid off. I'm hoping for a lot more than one ton of feed. I'm hoping for two, three tons of feed. Conservation agriculture is all about integration. And farmers are also noting the weed suppressing effect of cover crops. I can definitely say that there's a big difference. Op my dek gewas op al my lande het ek 'n kontrolestrook gelos waar ek dan nou nie 'n dek gewas geplant het nie om te kyk op die lang termyn en met die oesproses is daar verskil in opbrengs is daar verskil in my graan en die oes maar ek het sommer vroeg in die seisoen al gesien laat waar ek wel dek gewas gehad het het hy die onkruid heeltemal onderdruk The overall importance of cover crops is such that it can be seen as a conservation agriculture departure point rather than an add-on Ek dink op hierdie stadium is ons gronde so gedegradeer as gevolg van ploeg en bewerking dat ons hoofvokus moet wees om ons gronde te herstel. So wat ek sou aanbeveel is dat ons ons gronde diversiteit eers moet opbou en 'n deklaag voor ons begin nou te. C4 grasses such as sorghum and babala make for good residue. These combined with legumes like cowpeas ensure a shield against direct sunlight as well as protection of the soil surface. Verder kan ons levendige wortels langer in ons gronde hou deur winter dekgewasse te meng met somerdekgewasse. Dit gee ons 'n kans om 7, 8, 9 maande van die jaar wel levendige wortels in ons grond te hê. Live roots accommodate microbes which serve to build up soil carbon. At the same time, plants like sunimp and sunflower attract beneficial insects like bees. Ultimately, the combination of cover crops will depend on the requirements of each farmer. But the aim should always be diversity. What is interesting is is the dekgewas mengsels. Uh, I also think that that certain gewas, certain other gewas, so must be reserved in the drought time. But then we see how end up what God's intention was with the scheping is that only not one one species on a slag must grow. That the good and biodiversity must grow.